Jack will fix your techie woes And we'll break things and we'll make things till we're all together raking And we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bilge tank In the big bilge tank Come and join our pirate crew in, in the, the big, big bilge, bilge tank. tank We will show you what to do And we'll hack it till we crack it And we'll tell the world about it And forget to tidy up That's why it's now a bilge tank Hello and welcome to Bilge Tank 111. 11T 111, oh my god, exclamation mark. Or 7 if you're doing it in binary. Mm hmm. Um, what about Roman numerals? 3. 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, happy zombie bunny weekend. Yeah. Yay. Cool. Pirate bunnies. Pirate, Pirate bunnies. zombie bunny. Pi yeah. Yeah, Pirate zombie bunnies. Yeah, so yeah. this is um, going to be an Easter special with um, a couple of nice little Easter makes from Tanya. Mm hmm. Um, kind of sneaky peek at something that we've been working on um, and egg jarping egg, egg jarping. jarping yes this is the thing that we previously did not know and now it is a thing that we know yep. and now we're going to make you know too it's um yeah it's kind of a, an obscure english pastime kind of in the in the tradition of things like cheese rolling and brexit bog bog snorkeling, snorkeling. Yep. Shin kicking, that kind of thing. <coughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a go at that, and then mm. um, possibly also set a competition based on that. Um, yeah, which is gonna be ill-defined, but it will be over the whole Easter weekend, <laughs> yeah. and there will be prizes on Tuesday yep. for those who make contraptions. What so? What should we kick off with? Um, you can kick off with. Do the weebles. Let's do the weebles. You wanna do the weebles first? Yep. Okay. I have just finished eating that egg, so we're good. I was testing them. Yeah. To make sure and to let people know that we really do have these strokes. Um, can we have the pointy down camera in one of the corners, please? Mm -hmm. Pointy down camera. Pointy down camera. Woo! Wrong pointy down camera. Well, oh, that's our new one. That's no, the wrong one. Be. It's going wrong. There you go. That one. Yes, this one. That would be good. Can you shift it to the other side as well? Because I'm, I'm not picky or anything. But you're on that side. But I'm on that side. And yeah. And um, I'm on the other side, and I'm. Well, that way you can see you can see these lovely finished products. That's what I was thinking. Ah. See, I, I do think things through. Um. So yes, uh, those of you who follow me on Twitter may have seen this recently. Uh, we're actually putting that on the Plumeroni website now as well, which is instructions that print off on one sheet. Um. You can even laminate them and reuse them. Um. Good for STEM and fun stuff like that. So, what you need she said with only half painted nails is one of those plastic eggs that you get from pound shops mm -hmm. plastic egg googly eyes one led and i've used our brand new sparkly rainbow leds which are great which is on the other camera if you want Oop, cake sorry. sorry i'm asleep at the wheel here so sparkly led other camera go no yes yeah that one your pals come out there you go Okay, so those sparkly LEDs, uh, these ones have just gone on the shop this week and they're very, very shiny and they do all this without you having to do anything really. Back to the other camera. Seamless, seamless. So you just attach them on a button cell battery and they will cycle through all those lovely, lovely colours. Mm. LED throwies. Ooh. Yes, you can make throwies if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, if you can make throwies, you could put a magnet on them and then lob them at something big and metal. Yes. But if you sellotape the... LED onto the battery and you then have technically a throwy which is nice and easy but we want to do something a bit even easier but even more fun get some plasticine or some clay or some play-doh or something sticky and heavy that sounds disgusting maybe not um, and put it in the bottom chewing gum. you could use old chewing gum at the bottom of it so that it rocks like this but always goes back up to the right Tree. Right way up. Hmm? A tree. <clears throat> They're big and sticky. <sighs> you almost didn't smile there, but yes. I thought I thought Sandy's jokes were bad. So yeah, <laughs> then you just wad your throwy in to the uh, clay of whatever variety, blue tech. Other mm -hmm. brands are available. And stick the top on the egg, which should make a nice clunk. There we go. And then the egg becomes a weeble. A light up weeble, and we decided since Phil wasn't here, we were going to make this one ever so special, just like Phil. There we are. Now he has some eyes, 
and a moustache. Yeah. <laughs> so there we are. Now we have now we have a little <coughs> blinky wibbly Phil who can take his little place. There we go. That's far too reminiscent. Some Phil. Some canny, it's just it like is uncanny, isn't it? Look, it even lops forward all the time too. It's got the Sims kind of sickly green colour as Phil's got as well. <laughs> there we go. Look, look, it dances just like Phil too. But anyway, yes. Yeah. So um, on uh, pimroni.com slash downloads slash easter eggs dot pdf we'll tweet the link later um, and then you can keep small children amused or even grown ups amused all holidays there you go we'll put little Phil over here catch it over void good one oh like that. that's terrible that's actually really good though. Yeah. but terrible but really good uh, why not type <coughs> um, yeah the good thing about these LEDs is that um, we were testing them um, you can actually use them on um, 3.3 volts if you want um, or you can actually power them straight from 5 volts as well can um, I move this one over? without, without a resistor um, they work quite happily that way there you go um, yes yeah, so we've got one just on the breadboard here it's connected up to the 5 volt rail on the Pi um, and we've got a resistor there at the moment um, but if we just um, just totally bypass that resistor. You can see it still works quite happily. We yeah. left we left it running for a good twenty minutes, and it was it was fine. So yeah. um, that's because they've got a, a chip inside um, to to obviously do the the kind of rainbow colours. Um, so yeah, they're quite happy on three point three or five or anywhere in between. And if you do um, make a throwy out of them, it lasted nine days before it became not bright enough to see. Still going though. Cool. My download link is broken, so I'm just going to hand this to you. <laughs> you <right> <laughs> <now>? <laughs> fix it. We will fix it. We will fix it. We yep. will fix so, um, it. That's a musical interlude. What um, button do you press in? I'm pressing all of them. Press the breadstick button. Why is it not doing anything? Because Paul um, has to touch the magic buttons. No, it's because uh, he's on the yeah. interwebs. Um, Wow, this is good. I shall fill. Da, 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 da. When ah, I say yeah, fill, I mean yeah. dance like fill. Um, so the yes, yeah, so the LEDs come in a pack of ten. Two pounds for a pack of ten. Can't really go wrong. No. Um, no pretty yeah. fun. And they're definitely more exciting than your kind of bog standards. Red, yeah. Red LEDs. I'm going to hide these in the bushes around work. Boring. So when it gets darker. <laughs> then everybody's like, what are these eyes looking at me? <laughs> I made a bunny one too, there's yep. a bunny down there. Oh well, yeah, we've got 10% um, off as well this weekend, um, if you spend over £50. Um, so, yeah. That's a lot of LEDs. Yeah. yeah. Link works on my machine, I just don't get it. It's because YouTube are yeah, doing the thing. Yeah, YouTube messes up. Just, just keep, keep that one up <laughs> until PDF and then... Is it yeah. Easter Egg dot PDF maybe? No, we've already cool. been through that. No, it's just not working here for no good reason. It will work. Yeah, we'll make it work. Anyway, yeah. Cool, so that's that. Um, well, we'll do the egg chirping now. Um, so this From is... From eggs to eggs. This is... I'm going to get a video up on YouTube of this because um, probably explains it better than I can. Um, so essentially egg chirping is like... kind of like conkers but with eggs. Um, it just sounds like the worst idea. <laughs> oh, we can't egg jar with Phil, can we? Although the other one looks worried. It's like, mm, mm. what are you doing? Egg jar. The right. eggs could explain egg jarping if you like. Here we go. Right. Here's a little video of it. Um, oh. We're technical, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. We're so out of practice. <laughs> Why did we do this? Here we go. Right. So you can see the, the the two of them have got their eggs, and you basically tap one on top of the other, ah. and, and whoever's egg cracks is the loser, yep. and the winner then goes on to play the next person. Okay, so, so just like conquers. This is the 2013 competition. There's been a lot of rule changes since then. Yeah. Because of all yeah. the egg tampering. Yeah. Yeah. Do random drugs tests and stuff like that as well. Yep. Um, there you are. Yeah. I've dropped the egg. <laughs> we've got we've got proper eggs here. Look. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. Pirate eggs. So, so we're going to give it a go. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. right. Now, I think one of these eggs might have a crack in it already. I think it cracked when I was hard boiling it, so... Okay. It's Some... supposed to hard boil They are hard boiled though, right? They are, yeah, yeah. Is that <laughs> okay. how you normally do it? That's, that's a pro tip if you're, do... if you're doing this yourself. Make sure you hard boil the eggs first. Yeah. So it so. takes the risk out of it. Right. So, mm. will we do this on the close-up camera, actually? Well, Ooh, okay. Let's... We could do this on the close-up camera. Right. right. So... Right, do you want to go first, Tanya? What am I supposed to do? Just get the egg on the yeah, top? Yeah, you have to. Okay. Not too hard or else you'll crack your one as well. I totally cracked uh, your yeah, egg. Yeah. And I have not cracked my egg. My egg is the winner egg. Yeah. Okay, oh, oh, oh. so it's now Paul and Tanya. What? Oh, okay. So, am I hitting you or are you hitting me? You hit me. Paul's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the winner. I win. Fail. I feel like I skipped around. I got a pass. <laughs> Due to my previous egg form. Well, I'll tell you what. Go for the other side. Go for the other yeah, side, the... and I'll give you a okay. second, yeah, second right. egg attack. So you... Okay. Oh. Mine, mine's cracked. Winner. Oh uh, no. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Super egg. So, wow. yeah. Earring pirate bunny Pulse Easter the... egg Pulse wins. Champion. Fail bunny. Fantastic. Y you get a cake, Paul. Yay! You get an Easter cake. That, that's a nice cake with a completely naturally coloured egg on top, which is bright yellow and cracked. Hmm. I think oh, one, one like side micro jarping. Micro jarping. Yeah, but yeah. One, one side's got the air pocket in, so it's going to crack easier. But it's just which way up does Sandy boil these things? Yeah. But then the strength goes around the shell, doesn't it? Science, egg science. We'll have to do mm. an egg dropping science post. Okay. So yeah, so the competition is. Um, you have to make um, some kind of contraption, um, preferably involving a Raspberry Pi somehow. Um, it can be like a Rube Goldberg machine, so that crazy contraption. Um, but ultimately what it has to do is to jar pegs. <laughs> <laughs> so basically drop or tap one egg on top of another egg. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to make the most inventive machine to do that that you can. Um, so we are allowing trebuchets for this challenge. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I just fired yeah, an egg. Um, Fire. Whichever one we find most entertaining. Um, there may also be a couple of runners-up prizes as well if we're feeling generous. Um, if you tweet them at us <coughs> um, with hashtag E-star, that's E-A-S-T-A-R-R, -R, mm -hmm. Um, then on you'll be entered on Monday evening. Um, we'll we judge. Will, yeah, we'll judge. Okay, the best ones. Mm. Um, so video on some kind of social media, yep. YouTube, yep. Instagram. We don't mind. Hashtag tweeted at Pimeroni. Yep. Or involving yep. us, and then you're you're in, and yep. we will judge and give away prizes. I get to spend all weekend going. Oh, look at the eggs! Look at the eggs! Yep. Maybe that'll just be me. Okay. I think, yeah, at least one thing will be a Easter candy pie bow with interleaving pastel mm. pink and pastel blue layers. Oh. Nice. Special. Yeah. Limited nice. edition of one. Yeah. Yeah. With a 3B plus in it. And what's the most eggy hat? Yes. I think a pantil hat because that could be used <clears throat> in jarping. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just strap an egg to it and just drink. So, giving you ideas. Free tips Ooh. there. Yeah. A extra points if they make a natural raspberry pie. <laughs> Only if I get to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. good luck jarping. <laughs> yep. I realise I've left my can of cherry diet coke over there. That was a mistake. <gasps> Feel the force. Link doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Feel the force. <clears throat> right, so what's next? Ooh, this is, um, so, yeah, you probably know our pirate radio kit. Um, Somebody did they tweet us or I think there might have been Facebook or a tweet and a, a tweet and a support ticket, just saying hey, you've got stereo channels on the fat beat on the pirate radio kit. Why isn't there stereo speakers for it? Yep. Can so, I make some? Yeah. So yeah. someone just kind of mentioned it, um, and of course, if you want to make your own extra speaker for pirate radio, then yeah, go for it. Knock um, yourself out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then you went. Oh yeah, I should release that at some point. Yeah, so that, this is something that I, I actually made when Pirate Radio came out and then kind of like forgot about for, well, yeah. 
until people a demand year, it a year now, with guess. pitchforks. Um, basically, all it is is um, it is um, the middle layer, um, or one of the middle layers of the standard pirate radio, um, and the same legs and the same leg retainer pieces, um, plus an extra front layer. Um, it's the same as the normal one, but without the VU meter bit on it. Um, and then a frosted bit in the front. Um, and the speaker just attaches and then obviously plugs into the other channel on the fat beat. Yep. Um, and it works quite nicely. Um, live demo. Live demo, here we go. This is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Is it going to work? Yeah. So that's the yeah, stereo sounds mm. from AirPlay. From AirPlay, yeah. yeah. Cool. So you're going to make a tutorial and we'll release this as an add-on. Yep. Yep. And you're going to make a little attachment thing as well, so you can have it all as one unit. So you can join the two together if you wanted to. I'm just going to stop that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking about doing another plate that basically joins the two things together, so it's like one solid unit. Um, and I think the kit may include um, one of those plates and also the like two of the standard ones as well. Um, so if you want to have it separate like that um, and have it on the other side if you want, then you can. And then have the VU meter in the middle. Or if you want to have it on that side and have it kind of attached, then you can as well. Um, yeah, and that'll be a little kit with the uh, speaker and the Perspex bits in it. Um, so, yeah. Sweet. Um, Archie's asking if you need any software changes. You shouldn't need to do anything at all other than perhaps toggle the little switch on the fat beat from mono to stereo. Can we have a look at that on um, super close up? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just unplug it. We have a new camera. Oh yeah, the super super close up. It was I'll part of saying the camera. We ran out of space in the workshop to have our microscope, mm -hmm. so we just made it part of the double bilge tank now. Yeah, so, so we can do it is uh, next to it's sideways. Bear in mind it's yeah. sideways okay. tangent, so it's kind of. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. why I'm going this way. <laughs> oh, it is. See, I have got skills. Oh, down a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Focus. Ha. To me. To you. The problem is there's a delay, so as soon as I focus on it, it's then slightly over. Yep. But yeah, that switch, yep. which is now wildly close up. Turn it. Okay, okay. Because it's sideways. Yeah, it's Can not we explain the concept of sideways? It's not clocked down anymore. Sideways? What? Um. <clears throat> oh, you mean... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. You are mean. So, um, we're meanies. You're mean. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There. So basically... Happy now? With that, beat, with that switch, when it's on the mono side, um, it mixes the two channels and then, well, it mixes the left and right channels and then the same audio comes out of both channels. Um, so if you only have a single speaker, you can plug it into either left or right side and it'll play both channels mixed to mono. Or one speaker to both of them. Like six watts of awesome power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that might actually work. Um, it's generally not a good idea, but in this case, I think it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. So yeah, that's that's a thing that's going to be a new thing. Um, yep. It's yep. got to be now. Yeah. Somebody yeah. just forced us to release it by saying, "Yeah, how about this?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll we'll release it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got a list of products to release this year that's kind of this long. Yeah. And yeah. We're trucking through it. Yeah. So right. That's, yeah, that's that. So nails now. Nail time. Yeah, nail time. Nail yeah. time. Not, not hammer time. What? Um, can I have that, yeah. that, that one? That one. Oh, hammer and nails. I need more sleep. There we go. So yes, um, I did some nails this week and uh, they, they got a little bit popular on the interwebs, which is quite nice because we are releasing some... I've just dropped LEDs down the gap in the table. Um, we're releasing some stickers that you can use on nails or you can use them wherever you wanted to. Um, in fact, she said sitting on it, I've got to retrieve my wallet. 
I made myself a gaffer, gaffer tape wallet with some in, so you can tell if somebody's trying to scan your cards. Um, I will have to change my phone over though, so that I can actually use it on the close up camera. There we go. <laughs> it's been in my back pocket, so it's a bit grubby, but. It's still functional, which is amazing. It still works, yeah. Um, and that's actually through cards mm. and, and some fake money because I'm skint. So I <laughs> had to use some Hackaday money that Damn. Archie sent. Um, so, yeah. But you can put cards in. Gaffer tape wallets, loads and loads of tutorials on the internet. But all I did was just sandwich some of those um, LEDs in between the layers of gaffer tape. So cool. that worked out quite well. But yeah, I have been putting them in my nails as well. Yeah. So this is something that was originally popped up commercially in 2014 yeah and then it got popularized in kind of the maker crowd in 2015 by baby doll baby doll on twitter yep yep and then about four months ago you kind of saw them and went oh i like these the i like these and since i'm like studying like nails i thought it was a good thing to sort of try and get in but i couldn't find them anywhere in the uk other than for extortionate prices through ebay yep. um so persuaded nico that we needed to import them yeah. And here they are. And the agreement for us putting them on the shop was they had to have its own skew. Yeah. And basically you spent six months wearing Markdown. Yeah. To where he will give them the skew fish to blow one. Yeah. So now now he's worn down and we've actually <laughs> tested so many different ones as well. Um, <coughs> yeah. When we were looking at the data ones to go in uh, for nails, these these were the uh, smallest commercially available in the extreme UK. Extreme close up. You, you got an extreme oh, close up. Seven. Okay. Always. If you get extreme close up, then you can't actually see it in comparison to anything, though. Derp, 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 derp. So, yeah, they're really big. Ooh. But yeah. too big. So, we eventually got the big ones down to small ones, which looks disgusting under the microscope, I hasten to add. Nails will always look filthy under the microscope, and I can't work out where it is either. I'm having a fail. <laughs> Yay, there we go. So, that's the data one. No, that's the that's the, that's the light one, which yep. is actually bigger than the data one. Okay, that's pink. It looks like pink, is it? You that can one tell is the, pink. Yeah. yeah, the pink ones look a kind of orangey yeah. colour. The actual yeah, LED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh goodness me! <laughs> Why can't we mount our cameras the right way up? Everything's back to front and side to side. And... I can fix that eventually. Oh, fine. Well, you'll just have to assume it's yeah. not working. You can, yeah. We can see it flashing. You can see it flashing, yeah. but I wanted to see that. Oh, there we go. Chip oh, and my disgusting that? finger and all the fluff off my jumper too. Cool. There you go. There's a reason human eyesight isn't better. Yeah, you don't really want to look at your nails. <clears throat> we um we did a bilge tank episode last year where um Phil and I made our own um RFID or NFC LEDs. Um you can actually you can do it yourself um if you get a length of wire and then just make a coil. And you have to kind of experiment with the number of kind of turns of the coil, yeah. And then just attach the LED to either end of it, um, and then if you then make another coil and run power through it, then you can actually get the yeah get the other LED to to light up. So that'd be build tank ninety something maybe. I don't know. Maybe we yeah. ought to put it on the the learn site or do a blog about how how NFC works and mm. then some yeah. instructions on how to make your own inductance and all that in it. Brilliant. We were going to do my nail. Have we got time for that? Have you got, have you got kind of headspace for that? Oh, well, I've got time for it, but I haven't got any of the stuff. It's all over okay, there. Okay, right. Yeah. There, is, there is a ginormous pile of nail art stuff that I brought in this morning in a crate. I didn't make a stencil either. <sighs> oh, yes. This is the other thing. You can print on nails with um, stencils. So instead of like stenciling through them, you engrave onto the stencil um, and then you swipe nail varnish into the gaps and then print it off and onto your nail. And we discovered that you can actually do them on the lasers when you engrave mm. stuff. So we might make some Pomeroni nail art in the next week or so. Cool. Because I wanted one that was kind of on that middle finger there that said rude. Yes. Nice. And I could show it to people and they would get the joke. You could. You could put <laughs> yeah. the, you could okay, put the data right one now. in. <laughs> I'm doing it to everyone out there. Oh. <laughs> By not being rude because the close-up camera's there. You realise people are just going to make a gif of that now, and it's going to be the, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah this is I, what happens. I work with these people. Yes. It's going to be like... Stephen. Children and animals, Tanya. Steve, yes. You were warned. Stephen Colbert. Children and animals and anybody at Primeroni. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. We're lovely people. So how do you, like, 
if you're doing it, do you, you stick mm -hmm. the sticker on and then yeah. you kind of build up like either layers of nail varnish or you can use the, you were using like resin type stuff? Yeah, so well. I'm using an acrylic resin. Um, I don't know if you can see it on that pic, that one. So there's an acrylic resin and you can see where my normal nails are oh. underneath them. I don't Ooh, feel focus that close. So no, that'll go. do. There we go. You see on the on the ring finger one where I haven't got any. Is that actually the right way up? Thing. If you put put it right down. Is it the, the wrong way up? Oh, there yeah. we go. So you can it's see on that focus. one, my actual fingernail just finishes about there, Is and that then that's way? all resin. Did you flip it? Yeah, yeah we did. We turned yeah. it around. <laughs> and um, You're the best. so the chips are embedded in resin, so they should last about three weeks, and you can paint over them as I did with the glittery ones. But the mm -hmm. glittery ones were too long to type with, so they uh, <laughs> they came off proper. Yes. And then you just dissolve it with acetone, you were saying? Yeah, so dissolve it with acetone, it. it goes all soggy and you just sort of scrape it off. And that's how you end up with the bad skin on your nails. Nail beds. Well, if you're not very careful with it, yes. But right. once you're a trained technician... <clears throat> yeah, Ian's yeah. asking when is Paul putting NFC LEDs That'd in his awesome. teeth? Ooh. I've still got to document that, but now we have like mm. something like a little bit of space around here, that's more likely to happen. Yep. But awesome. yeah, it's time. Yeah. Yeah. I would like them in my arm as well. But you just have to walk mm, about with yeah. like a, a, is it, a, is it, is it Qi charger? Is that how you say it? Qi, Qi, Qi. yeah, Qi. Qi. So it's, if you say it Chinese style, then Qi. You just have to like <laughs> tape one of them to your chin to, right. to power them. Yeah. The LEDs. Or just kind of have one of the IKEA embeddable ones in like my chest as an arc <laughs> reactor. That's a bad idea. Tanya's doing that. That's a very bad idea, Paul. I'm <coughs> saying nothing. Yeah. I can tell. It's teach face. <laughs> I didn't use teach voice though. <laughs> no. Yay. Okay, right. So that's yeah, that's everything for this week. Uh, we'll try and take it easy because we're still obviously a little bit unpracticed since we came back. Mm. But yeah, we're back now. This is officially kind of two weeks. Well, two-ish weeks. Did we do? It was last week, wasn't it? Launch. The week before that. Okay, it was three right. fourteen, wasn't yeah. it? So. Yeah, it was like ten yeah. days ago. So well, yeah, we're currently bi-weekly. We can improve. We're back. Fortnightly. Fortnightly. Yeah, next week's going to be a short week. Bank holiday weekends, four days of making in a row. Yay. It's like the best feeling. To make your <laughs> egg, egg jar con contraption. Yep. 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 So yep. you've got four days to make your egg jar, uh, egg jar ping machine, and then you can win shiny, shiny things. Yep. Which would be good. It's a pretty good price, that. Fantastic. Like yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Right. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and the other ones, we don't do comment. That anymore. Thumbs up. Such a cliche. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lovers oh. online. Yeah, just just tell us we're awesome. Yeah, that's all we like. <laughs>